Hello, it's Paul, and welcome once again to Paul Plays Shenzhen, or Shenzhen IO. Now, where are we? The next puzzle we have is Wireless Game Controller. Let's have a quick look at it. Right. Um, so, Wireless Game Controller, you've been asked by... You've got an e email to help some guy out with his uh, games console. So, X and Y are simple inputs connected to a joystick. A and B are simple inputs connected to buttons. Here we go there. Radio TX is an X bus connected to a radio transmitter. When a data packet is received over the radio from the game console, respond with the following three value data packet, making sure to use the most recent input values. Right, and have a look. So basically it sends us something just minus one, doesn't really matter what it is, and we then fire it back three packets on radio tx the transmit right i'm going to use one of these guys i am gonna grab say oh, hello p0 i'm gonna grab p1 make it look neat grab tx and RX. Now we're going to need some way of getting um, what's the word I'm looking for? We're going to need some word, way of getting in these two buttons. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I may look at seeing if I can do it because they're either on or off, one or zero. So it could we could use one of these non-recommended parts for us. But first of all, let's just write this. I just want to experiment with something. Um. P0 can go to there, and I need to get this up here. So, oh, oh, bridge. Right. So, what I'm going to do is just ignore this for the time being, and let's just see if we can get the basics of it right. So, we want to move... So where's the receive? Move x2. Or test of equal x2 and minus 1. And if it's not equal, jump back to the start. It's not equal, we're going to sleep 1 and jump back to the start. Right, and if it is equal, then we've got, so we're going to move, so we're getting X is here, X comes in on P1, P1 to X3, move Y is on P0, P0 to X3, so that's the transmit packet again. And we'll just send it garbage. We'll move 999 to X3 for the for this, because we haven't written that yet, or I haven't written it yet. So let's have a look what happens if I run that. Okay, so that looks like it's picking up the signal. It's, it's detecting this minus one, and it's obviously doing it pretty good, except it's not writing if I was to write zero to it, which is a better guess at what it is. Yeah, all the zeros are now right as well, but some of them aren't. So we need to get this thing working here. So my idea is I just want to see, see if we can do this. Can we like send a message on this Xbus to this guy to say, right, send us data. And then, so we're going to send it a message. So move zero to x1 and then move x1 so we're going to send it a message move zero to x1 and then move x1 to the transmit pin which is x3 so we're going to send it like anything zero any message at all um 
So this guy is going to wait until it sees SLX means sleep on wait. Oops, SLX on X0. And we need to clear it out. We checked that before. So move X0 to the accumulator. So what we need to do now is check if so what basically we have to do here if you look at the information again is 0 1 2 3 is basically counting in our binary so if it's both of them are 0 then it's 0 so in effect a is the one bit here it's on and 2 is the second bit if B is on. So what we need to do is we've moved, this is always zero. So we've always reset the accumulator to zero, which is good. So the next thing I want to do is test if equal. A is on P0 and 100. So is P0 on? If it is, add Test if equal P1 and 100. If it is, add 2. So that should that should be our way of sort of recreating the binary. If that bit's on, it's a 2. And then if the other bit was on, so it could be, could be 2 or 3 in that case, if none of them are on. And then finally, move the accumulator back on the X0 bus. Like that. So move X1 to X3. And finally, read the value. Oh, no, that's right, isn't it? Move 0 to x1, send the 0, then move that. Let's have a look. I mean, that's getting it all right. Flying along. Right, where? So now what I think I might do is, that's a bit short, that wasn't too hard. What I'm going to try and do now is, for cheapness and probably la la lack of lines of code, can I remove this and use one of these? Like that. So what this does, if you remember, or if we remember, um, when you query it by just reading the value, we get back the first digit, the one digit in our uh, decimal counting system. It depends on whether A is set or not. And the 10 digit is going to be depending on whether B is set or not. And obviously you can have a third digit. So for example, if Neither of these are set, we get 0, 0, 0 back. If this is set, we get 0, 0, 1. If just this one is set, we get 0, 1, 0. But it's not, it looks like binary 0, 1, 0, but it's not really, it's decimal. I mean, that, that, that 0, 1, 0 is actually the value 10 being sent to us, which is what we were trying to get out of it. So what I'm going to do here is we have that and we have accumulator. But that is not that useful in that you can't, there are these lovely commands to do DGT to check if a digit is set or not but you can't do that on DAT you can only do that on accumulator and if you do it on accumulator it it re-scrubs the accumulator with just the bits so I'm not sure how useful so what I'm gonna do is instead of moving 0 to I don't need to query it anymore all I do need to do is move x1 to DAT like that and then I just need to do some arithmetic on that. So if I move zero to the accumulator, get it get it set to zero. So now so test T G T test if greater than dat and nine. So what I'm trying to do is trying to recreate this this logic of converting these. So we've got a we've got 
one of four values back in DAC. We've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1 in effect, but they are really decimal values. They are really 1, 10, 0, 1, 10, or 11 other values we actually have. Now, I don't think I have room here to do like four if statements, four if it's zero then move zero if it's one move one if it's 10 move two and if it's 11 move three i don't think i've room there so what i'm going to try and do is if i check if it's greater than nine i should and add two that gets me a start now i think what i need to do is test equal that an 11 plus add one Test equal that and one plus add one and move accumulator to um, where's it going? Next three, isn't it? I believe so. Yes, and we've recreated it now with that. So that's horrible, isn't it? It is, it is absolutely, there must be a clever way of doing it. It's just that the digit, the, the, you can do very little with the DAT register. Yeah, well, at least we have, we didn't really save lines of code, but we did get the price down. So that's obviously important, isn't it? Obviously, we can, I mean, obviously people are doing it in, oh, like a handful of lines of code, which is great, which is really, really good. This isn't, though. Yeah, I mean, that is awful, isn't it? That is absolutely an awful way of converting 0, 1, 10 or 11 to 0, 1, 2, 3. There is bound to be a really clever and cool way of doing it. I'm sure I will be told about it. <laughs> I will figure it out myself someday, but it's not going to be now. Um, so that was, what was it? This was Wireless Game Controller. So that's not bad. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's fantastic. It, it's, it's like TIS 100, but done brilliantly um i'm i really like i i really really like it i think it's a tremendously clever and smart little game and i think this one i, I think probably more so than tis wouldn't say would teach you programming but you know it, and, and maybe when the, the the challenges get tough towards the end there'll be more about you know abusing or its syntax and its mechanics but it, it's it, it does let you break the pro them down and allow you solve them in some sort of sensible way without having to get way, way, way too in depth into it. So I like it. Anyway, really enjoying the game so far. I hope people are enjoying watching on. Hopefully, this is useful to people who might have been stuck in one of these or needed some inspiration, or I hope you're just enjoying them for just for watching such a such a good game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it. Drop us a like on it. Thank you and bye now.